Hey guys, welcome back to my vegan kitchen. I've got a great recipe for you today. It is for hedgehog cookies. Did you forget? <laughs> no, I forgot what we were gonna call them. These cookies look like the most delicious cruelty free, not really hedgehog, hedgehogs in the world and they taste even better. This is basically a shortbread cookie covered in chocolate and nuts. <sighs> Amazing and so, so simple. Just a few ingredients that come together very quickly and then we're ready to impress the world. So let's get started. We've got one cup of vegan butter. I'm using the Earth Balance uh, sticks because they're very easy to measure. You only need two sticks and that's one cup. So I'm gonna dump these in my mixer. The hardest part is unwrapping these. <laughs> Honestly, these cookies are gonna be amazing. We've got two tablespoons of coconut sugar. So I'm gonna take this over to the mixer. We're going to mix the butter and the sugar together first. That's called creaming. So we're gonna cream the butter and the sugar together. We're also going to add in about a tablespoon, a teaspoon to a tablespoon of vanilla. I measure everything exactly. That was exactly one teaspoon to one tablespoon of vanilla. Okay, so I had this sitting out all day <laughs> and it's still not that soft, but that's okay. You're going to have to scrape down the sides on this one a little bit because I cannot believe how hard that is still. You're going to want to have it creamy. That's why they call it creaming. Alright, that looks pretty damn creamy for my taste. Ooh, that vanilla though. Right? Woo! Stick that there. Only two more ingredients in this part. That's, that's crazy. So we're just going to throw in like a quarter of a cup of Himalayan sea salt. A quarter of a cup? Whoa! <laughs> We're gonna put in a quarter of a teaspoon of Himalayan sea salt. We're going to put in one and a half cups of regular old flour. Measured exactly. All right, we're gonna start to mix that and then we're gonna add final ingredient which is almond flour but we don't know exactly how much almond flour we're going to put in we're going to start with a half of a cup and move up from there again you're probably going to have to scrape down the sides because this isn't as melty as you would hope it would be make sure you get it on your hand <laughs> that's the secret to success all right we're ready to add the almond flour so we're going to put about a half a cup to start. It's starting to come together now. You can see you're getting like a pastry crumb size. That's pretty good. Okay. Now you can see here. This is just about perfect. That's all the almond flour we needed. You want to get this so that it will hold together when you squeeze it in your hand. So this is the perfect consistency. It doesn't look like it in the bowl, but when you pick it up in your hand, it is the perfect consistency. All right, now is time to create hedgehogs. Yay! So I'm using a one tablespoon scoop and I'm pressing it in and Pressing it in my hand, and we're going to shape it into basically the body of a mouse. So, kind of like a triangle, like with a pointy nose, you could see here. Basically, make an oval and it's then. It's like a teardrop. Exactly. Good one. These are going to take on a personality all their own. Each one is going to have a different personality. Um, they don't have to be perfect because they're, they're individuals. And. It's a lot of fun. We used to um, <laughs> we used to joke about when we were uh, decorating them about what each one was like. <laughs> what do you mean used to? We still do. It's fun. Uh, right now they don't look like much, but once we get the chocolate and the faces on and everything, you'll see what we're talking about. But once you get a tray full of these done, these are going to go into a 350 oven 
for about 10 to 15 minutes depending on uh, how hot your oven is and when it starts to get brown on the bottom you can kind of see that's when they're ready also another caution with this the butter in here is going to be soft hopefully at room temperature so you're going to want to put it in back in the fridge the whole bowl in between batches because it's going to get too soft to work with and it's going to start to stick to your hands. So you want to keep it quite firm in between so that you could shape them. Alright, it's the next day guys. We were too lazy to do this last <laughs> night. Not we started a little late. We had a live show last night so we really didn't have the time to do it. But that's okay. Because these cookies are very forgiving. So this is how uh, some of them turned out. Some were a little bit darker than others. That's okay. Because every hedgehog is different. So I've melted some chocolate in the microwave. I love to use a chopstick for this part because uh, we're going to use the chopstick to paint the faces too. That's fun. <laughs> so we're just going to grab it by the face. <laughs> we're going to dip the butt because you know a hedgehog has uh, his set of clothes on up to pretty much like here and his face is naked. So then I've chopped up some raw almonds. What would really be ideal for this is the slivered almonds. That would look most like a hedgehog. I just chopped some up on the cutting board because you want a variety. You want some bigger pieces, you want some dust. So that's basically what we're gonna do with the um, cookies. So dip all of your cookies powder them with the uh, almonds and then we'll come back and we'll give them their personalities. All right, these were sitting in the fridge for probably about half an hour. I love when they're all done and they look like a little army. Oh! So we're just taking, <laughs> I love that. It's so cute. We're just taking our uh, chopstick and we're getting some of the um, leftover melted chocolate and making two dots, one each for an eye. <laughs> Cause it's got two eyes. I mean, if you really wanted, you could make more than two eyes. <laughs> I mean, you you do you, right? Yeah. Maybe you're an alien and space alien, and you could have be. like three eyes or something. And then, of course, the nose. Whoa! So adorable. So cute. Yeah. So I guess we're gonna finish these up, and then we'll show you our army of hedgehogs. All right, there that they is are. So cute. We have the second stringers over here. Oh, they're so okay. This is my dilemma with these cookies. They are so precious that I almost like don't want to eat them. I know. Because I want to stare at them and I don't want to like hurt them. Well, this is a real showstopper. It is. I mean, you walk into a party or a holiday uh, family gathering with these, and people are like, <sighs> are, they're like, are you the vegan Martha Stewart? Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, Kristen wants to taste test? Can I have one? Sure. Choose wisely. This one's nose broke off. Maddie did that. Oh, they were so like buttery, amazing that they're very delicate. Yeah. They're not sweet. So Well, tell us what you think. <laughs> okay. Phone is not ringing anymore. Good. So, all right, let's see. Oh, I don't want to Which one did you choose? You. Mini ones, one, two. Right? Okay, I'm going to bite the butt. Bite the butt. Mm. Hashtag bite the butt. That is so good. It's so good. Delicate? Mm-hmm. And we made them smaller this year, so they're more accessible. And it's you less of like, a oh commitment. Oh my god, it's such a huge cookie, it can't commit. If you've yeah, got you cookie commission, commitment issues, I do. rest assured. When I see like a huge cookie, I'm like, Especially if there's a lot of different ones you want to try. Right. So this is good. This is so beautiful. Guys, so yummy. let us know if you make these. I really hope you do. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe for more. The cat won't stop meowing unless we get more subscribers. So <laughs> please. And until next time, much love.